Good morning, YouTube. What is up, everyone? It is good to honestly be back. It's I know it's been like a week or so, just a little bit over a week since I've uploaded a video. Yeah, I, I know it's been a minute, but I kind of needed a break, to be honest. There's just been some things going on, you know? There's some changes coming on in my life that... You know, I just got to adjust to, but it's good to be back. I want to go all out. There are new things happening, man. There's new languages I'm learning. There are so many things going on right now, and I want to talk to you guys about that today. So today, what I really want to do is go ahead and make today into just a regular vlog and just document what I do here and what I do at work. Um, and yeah, man, it's just it's good to be back. So I'm going to go ahead and drive to work right now. I have to head out. It's already 825, so I got to head out and bounce. So I'll see you guys when I get to the office. Let's get them B-roll, man. All right guys, so I'm here at work right now. I'm hungry. All right guys, what's up YouTube? So I'm here in the office right now. We got some good bagels. So this is usually what happens every, like end of the week here at work. Check out what they brought. So we got some bagels, cupcakes, muffins, I guess you say. That's what we call it. Cream cheese. We also have bring a bunch of donuts, but I'm not touching that. All I'm eating today are bagels. But yeah, today has honestly been a really long week. Uh, I'm exhausted, man. Um, I kind of feel burned out, I guess you could say, uh, from just like, I don't know, there's just been a lot of things going on right now. Um, you know, a lot of things going on the last couple of weeks, to be honest and i've just kind of been out of it i don't know how to explain it but i kind of feel like i'm having one of those weeks where you just don't care about anything like you don't care about i don't know what it is like i just don't care about anything i just can go to work you know go home and trying to reset and and if you've been following me on instagram or twitter i've been talking about that on discord and i've been try, kind of doing trying to reset the whole week or so and i think i felt like i finally have i was finally feel rejuvenated and i feel much better now so yeah man it's been an interesting week so i'm gonna go ahead and eat this food go back to work well i'll start work and i'll see you guys i guess maybe at lunch i don't want nobody stabbing me with love don't wanna waste no time getting my feelings hurt i believe in those things we don't know much of there's just so much to see that Alright guys, so we are here at lunch right now with Jesse. Wait, I'm not driving. Oh shoot. Wait, I'm not. Wait, who? Jesse. Oh shoot. Dude. You guys want to check out his car? So this is the car he has. Oh god. This is his Honda. Is this a Honda Civic or a car? Honda Civic. Honda Civic. Honda Civic. Look at that. Dirty. Look at that. He has this old school. I've not seen it. Does anyone still have these? I haven't seen these in such a long time. Wow. How's your day going, man? Good. Cool, man. No complaints. <laughs> Oh, we're going to lunch right now? Yeah. Cool, cool. What are we going to get for lunch? What are um, get? Taco Bell. Taco yeah. Bell, yes. Are you Mexican? Me? Yeah. Are you getting Taco Bell? I know. It's kind of sad, right? Oh my gosh, you guys. Guys, dislike down below. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> like this video if you're if he should be getting Taco Bell or not. <laughs> but yeah, so we're on lunch break. We're going to get some food. See you guys when we get there. Lay my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarette City lights looking fine And I know this is my time It is about 5.30 I don't get off until like 6.30 today so I'm here just getting my dinner at the office. I am watching some NBA right now. All right guys, so this is my dinner. This is what I got. I got my tofu, green beans. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. I'm gonna still work until it's about, what time is it? It's about 5.45 right now. I'll be working until 6.30, so I'll head out by then. And yeah, so let me go ahead and finish working and then I'll talk to you guys 
after I finish getting out of work. <laughs> Let's go. Want to keep it nice and clean, not freak out and cause a scene. I try to hold it together, keep it together. Not sure who I really am, just be cute and super bland. Hey guys, what's up? So I'm here in the office right now. I'm still working on, on a project right now, but check this out. Because I'm here late at work, um, there's actually quite a few. Actually, all the developers are here at the office still right now. It's 6 p.m. and people are still here. But because I'm here um, and I don't want to miss the Warriors game, look what I'm able to watch here in the office. What I'm watching right now is the Warriors versus Knicks game. Pretty close. The Knicks are up by 72. I have no idea why, but yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go continue working and I'll see you guys after. Monday came and swept away all the fun of yesterdays. But I'm gonna hold it together. This ain't forever. Need a shot and then a beat. Somewhere to let up some steam. I'm not the one to say never. Guys, what's up YouTube? So it is pretty much 7 p.m. It is the end of the day. I was here a little bit longer than usual because I was working on things and I was watching the NBA while working. So it took me a little longer to get what I need to get done. And so uh, if you're watching this video, then you're probably watching because um, you, you want to know pretty much what the pros and cons are when it comes to web development. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I've been coding and programming for the last two years. I was at my first developer job for about two years and um, now I've been working an entrepreneur for more than two months and now I'm getting on my, three, on my third month here at the company and so I really feel that I'm qualified when it comes to talk about what are the pros and cons when it comes to web development. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about that right now. So what are the pros when it comes to web development? I think number one, the pay. The pay is amazing. Um, really, when I come to think about it, for someone like me who barely graduated high school, I don't know how I graduated, um, I dropped out of college, so no degree, pretty much no experience, no skill set whatsoever, other than like writing, I guess you could say, when it comes to writing music. Um, other than that, I had no skills that would help me bring value to a company. But when it comes to coding, right, the thing about this industry is that the more code you learn, the better you get at programming, the higher your income pretty much goes. I mean, a ceiling for maybe a front-end developer could potentially be $130,000 to $150,000 a year. Um, I know people who get paid $230,000 a year. I know someone who made $130,000 a year after coding for only two years because he put in so much hard work. And so yeah, that's one of the biggest pros. Secondly, a really big pro when it comes to coding and programming and getting into web development is that you do not need a degree and companies do not care about that. And if companies do, it might be because it's software development or because of that management really values degrees for some reason, but a majority of the companies out there do not require it. And even if it says they're looking for degrees, on a job form ad or whatever you know you, you apply for jobs even when it comes to that you still apply and they'll still give you interviews i know people who've been only studying code for three months and got two interviews at a coding company and this is not even in the united states if you're on discord you guys know who exactly i'm talking about i know someone who got fired from his coding job first coding job because he sucks and guess what he got a new job in a couple months and that person is making a lot of money he makes way more than what i earn right now right and so, and these people didn't have a degree, right? These people didn't have a formal degree to get them there, but what got them there was pure hard work, right? Another really big pro, which comes to web development is that is the demand. The demand for us as web developers, front-end developers, back-end developers are huge. Of course, you do have to make sure that you know the correct languages, right? You have to make sure that you are studying the, the languages, the frameworks that are in demand. As a front-end developer, you have to make sure that you're comfortable with HTML, CSS, you know how to get things mobile friendly. Maybe you might need to learn Bootstrap or maybe Materialize, Worker SaaS or Less, which are CSS frameworks or processes, whatever you call it, right? Not even just that, you have to learn JavaScript, especially you have to learn, um, let's say you have to learn the command line, you have to learn how to use Ajax, you have to learn how to work with APIs and all these different things. But more than that, you have to know a JavaScript framework. And what's very much in demand, the top three JavaScript frameworks today is number one, React, number two, Angular, number three, Vue. And what I'm seeing in the industry right now is React. And that's why, like, if you know React, if you know a JavaScript framework or library, 
you will be in so much in demand. You're, so many different companies will pretty much be fighting for you, right? Another pro is that this the, the environment that we work in are very fun. The management, depending on the company, of course, as usual, you work under is very chill. I mean, here at this company, the whole office, the whole building, at least the upper floor knows that I code. I mean, they, they all know I have a YouTube channel and this company is letting me film inside. I'm using this entire place as my setting when it comes to like filming, right? I'm doing, I, I'm pretty much doing time lapses of myself when I'm coding. I'm filming myself in the kitchen downstairs. I'm doing all these different things. Uh, we have a gaming room back here, right? We have Pac-Man, all these arcades. We have unlimited coffee upstairs and downstairs. It's pretty cool, we get free snacks every Friday. And of course, other companies have more perks and stuff. But to be honest, like joining this niche, one of the best benefits is that the de developers, right? Particularly developers have it really good. Particularly developers have a much more freedom than other people. Of, co of course, it does again depend on the company, but usually developers are the most valuable people at that company. Why? Because we live in a world of technology. We live in a world where you're only as valuable as you are in the internet. Does that make sense? If you're not known on the internet, then you're not really known because it's through the internet is how you market today. Facebook ads, Google ads, YouTube ads, Instagram ads, everything, right? But how do these things get done? It's through us developers or even designers, right? UI, UX designers, which are very valuable as well. So we're always gonna be in demand and the environments that we work in are very chill and I love it. No micromanagement. And again, it does depend on the company too. Also, one thing too, and a big pro is that coding is the cool thing now. You look at movies, who are the cool people? People who code, right? When you look at, you know, it's just like programming. Coders, programmers, software developers, web developers, backend developers, front-end developers, mobile developers, right? What, like, we're the rock stars of the companies today. Like, coding is it. And not even just that, like, when it, that feeling, when people ask you, what do you do for your living? It's just, it's just something about it. When you tell them, oh, I work with code. I'm a programmer, web developer, software developer, right? I usually say software developer because no one really knows what web development is, right? And then that feeling of just knowing that you're doing something that not many people can do, and it's in so much demand, right? All right, let's go to the cons, but I wanna to talk to you guys about this downstairs. Let's go. All right, so now we're here downstairs in the conference room, um, and oh, ah, there's, there's actually an echo in here. <laughs> oh well. All right, so what I wanna talk about right now are the cons. Let's go ahead and get into this right now. Number one, okay, number one, I think something we have to be honest with is that this industry is really competitive. Because the, the barrier of going in is that you, because you don't need a degree, anyone can learn this language. And so because so many people know that you can make a lot of money in this niche, the demand for developers are really high. And because of that, not just anyone could get in. And what I mean by that is that those who want it, those who really want it, if you really want it, and if you're really willing to do whatever it takes to get in, you'll get it in the industry. But you have to really fight for it. And what I mean by that, you have to be willing to really do whatever it takes to understand code. You have to be willing to make a project, a portfolio. You have to be willing to ask questions. It will not be easy. Learning code, you're learning how computers speak. You're learning how to speak to computers, to phones, to software, to browsers, to different people all around the world using a computer language so they can see what you're trying to tell them through their code. But because of that, because we're in so much demand and we're really needed, a lot of people are getting it, trying to get, a lot of people are trying to get into the industry today. And I'm telling you this, it will not be easy. Uh, there's a lot of competition. There are a lot of people trying to get in. But does that mean you can't make it? No way. If you really want it, then guess what? You have something other people can do. There are people who will just casually try it and give up. I know a lot of people who gave up. But if you keep pushing forward, you can definitely get into the industry. Number two, let's go to the next one now. This is a pro, but it can also be a con for some people, right? Um, a con is that you will never stop learning. Because there's so much new technologies coming out, what's going to happen is that you have to continuously learn. You have to push yourself to, and I'm not saying every single day. I do know people who study every single day, which is freaking, this is insane, right? <laughs> um, but you will always have to learn new things. Because there's new APIs coming out, new frameworks, technology, you will always have to learn these new technologies to stay on top of your game and stay valuable in this forever growing niche, right? Um, next, um, your work is your life. There, there will be companies when you have to take your work home. There might be times when I have to work from home too, right? Um, coding becomes your life. Now, work-life balance is huge. That's a pro too, I didn't mention that, but pretty much your life will be all about code. 
because technology is growing. Um, you know, you, there be times when you don't understand something and you might have to take your work home. That this company particularly, I don't always have to take work at home, but there might be times I'll see I might, right? You never know at your company. You might, you will not always have to take work at home, but might be something urgent is coming up. Maybe you don't finish something that has to be done by that night, so you take that work home so you can work from it at your house too. Um, I, I, one other con is that people think that you're really smart. And what I mean by this is that because people think that I'm smart because I learned code, um, it's really funny, people will always come to you for questions when it comes to technology. I can code, but I do not know how to fix your computer. I can code, but I don't know how to set up your, your printer at your house. I can code, but I cannot build a computer from scratch and I cannot fix the things on your Windows PC because I'm a Mac user, right? Uh, people automatically think you're smart. Oh, hey, you're a developer. Hey, you're a software developer. Hey, you work with code. Can you help teach my kids, help tutor them when it comes to the math problems? And people always come to you, hey, my f iPhone is locked. Do you know how to unlock it? Can you please help me? And these, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but people always come to you thinking you know how to solve everything, which is kind of true in a way because that's what we do for a living as programmers. We solve problems, right? But other than that, man, one last con is this. The biggest con I, I can say when it comes to coding, for me personally, right? What is my biggest con when it comes to coding? Um, hmm, that's a good question. Biggest con. Biggest con is that it can sometimes be repetitive. Um, and it's true for everything. Now, I'm not saying, like, what I do, like, seriously, guys, what I do at work is literally different every single day. There are certain tasks that are repetitive, which is fine. I find it fun, <laughs> right? The code base here at work is finally making sense, which I love. But sometimes code can be repetitive, right? And that is a con for some people, but that's only a very small percentage of everything else you do. Everything else I do is new every single time. There are always new challenges, new designs. I have to, new PSDs I have to slice up into code, right? Um, but other than that, um, yeah, honestly, there isn't really a big con for me. I mean, there are small cons, right, for other people. But for me, because I love what I do, these cons I said, like, they don't really apply to me. I like that people ask me for help. I like that there's competition. I want to be better than competition. Because there's competition, I want to work harder than everyone else, right? Um, I mean, yeah. But anyway, man, those are the pros and cons when it comes to web development. <laughs> All right, guys, it is seven o'clock now. I got to head out of work. I, I was supposed to leave a long time ago. <laughs> so I'm gonna head out right now. I'm gonna go home and I'll see you guys next week. New videos, three videos coming out next week. So thank you guys for persevering. I'll see you guys later. If you like more videos like this, let me know. I know this video will be really long, but oh well. All right, guys, I'm gonna head out. This is Krishan. This is life of a web, oh shoot, web developer. Oh my gosh, I almost fell. This is life of a web developer. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.